What's up, guys? Zog's Entity here. Uh, sorry about not up post, posting up yesterday, but it's kind of busy. So today I'm going to be giving you one, and today I'm going to talk about a really amazing series that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. This one's called The Ancient Magus Bride. And I, I really love this series, and I also really think it's actually an important series that needs to be talked about. And so, uh, Ancient Magus Bride is focused around these two characters, mainly. The one to the right, his name's Ch her name's Chise. She's a very unfortunate girl. She's lived a life, pretty much, and her with like her family, part of her family going missing, and one of them committing suicide, and then herself also almost committing suicide, but she's convinced by someone to give herself up and to an auction that someone might need her. And reason being is because she's particularly a uh, special kind of girl who can attract the um, attention of different spirits and ghosts and things like that. And so that's a very rare ability in this whole world. And <clears throat> the one who ends up um, buying her is that this man, <laughs> this being to the left named Elias Ainsworth. And he is the titular ancient magus um, or, or mage, as they call him in this one. And it's he uh, uh, gets buys her not to like you know just mess with her or anything or use her an experiment, but actually to be her, obviously his bride. Um, but also uh, apprentice in magic, and that's essentially the basic plot of this and their um, uh, discoveries through the world, which is absolutely incredible world to be in and um so uh on on a different note the uh first i want to talk about is the the art the art is absolutely incredible i love pretty much every single frame that's in this like it's so incredibly detailed and full of life and just it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's so very colorful, at least in the front, as you can see. And even in the black and white panels, like, super detailed in real life. Every character is drawn pretty uniquely. And the backgrounds are incredible. The Some of the shots and the way they're drawn, so eye-catching and so mesmerizing. It weaves its own kind of, like, little magic. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I just, I, like, incredible artwork all around, from characters to backgrounds, just can't get enough. Um, let's see, the themes of the series, as you can tell, do a lot with magic, but also goes, like, way beyond that, like, it's, it deals with themes of identity, um, traditions, versus modernism, uh, you know, uh, choice, free will, all these incredibly um, important themes, and they weave together in such an incredible way that's not too preachy, and it's, it's very real, and it feels, because all the characters are so well realized, you know, they feel very personal, and also, because of this thing, because of this too, there's a lot of like heavy subjects and too, from suicide, like I said, begin next to much existentialism and things of that nature. It's a lot to take in if you're not ready. Um, but like the whole world itself is just so incredibly realized. Again, it's all the characters have very rich backgrounds. Like, Corey Yamazaki put a just incredible amount of detail into the world. Like, not just... Not from, like, magic. Like, the magic itself isn't, like, 
this isn't like fairy tale or like black clover or anything like that. No, this is like much more in line with like actual real life magic. It's one of my favorite things about it. Like what I mean by that is like pagan rituals and magics and things like that. It draws on inspiration from those to like create its world. It makes it much more grounded and real and much more subtle in its way. And it's not over the top. And I just, I love it. It's much, much, much more like real feeling when things are like that, that nature. And it's really cool to, like, it's kind of a learning experience at times. Cause they, like I said, they draw on real life, pagan rituals and holidays to like, for inspiration. And so it feels like much more grounded in that way. I, I just love it. Um, and then, like I said, other, like I said before too, though, there's like a lot of heavy themes in it too. So it's the one drawback I can guess I can say for this. For me, it's a plus, but I know some people are sensitive to those kind of things. So if you're not ready for that, I wouldn't say, you know, just gear yourself up, but I would strongly suggest giving it a try anyway. Just, you know, get yourself ready, because this is an incredible series that I feel deserves. I know it got it like an anime a while back, and it did a, and it's still really pretty, but like, I don't feel it's getting enough attention still to this day for these reasons. And so I feel like it still needs to be discussed. And I know, like, the manga itself also has like a couple spin offs. I believe in a light novel and to a, like another uh, manga spinoff. And I myself might get to those eventually, but right now I just want to stick to this because I'm already gross enough and I have enough series to finish off as it is. But yeah, I think it's an incredible series that I feel a lot more people should be checking out. And all right, I think that's about all I can really say about know, this enough. So. Alright, check it out. See you guys later. Bye.